Bill Caballero, principal horn of the Pittsburgh Symphony. John Williams, horn concerto. I can't wait to hear it. I think it's going to be very exciting. Well, thank you. I think so, too. I, when I was approached uh, about this last, uh, about a year ago, a year ago, November, uh, I knew the concerto was out there, but I had no idea that, uh, that, that maybe uh, thinking about playing it, I wasn't, I shouldn't say wasn't interested, but it didn't come to my mind. And uh, Slacken uh, was putting together the program of the All-American Concert and, and uh, suggested the, the, the performing this John Williams Horn Concerto. And I, I said, okay, I'd like to hear it first. And I heard it and I liked it. And then I saw the music and I realized I guess I agreed to it before I got the music <laughs> and uh, realized how difficult the piece is. But he certainly stretches the limits, if you will. It's been a while uh, when you sit there and think about it, maybe a Mozart or a Strauss uh, for, for Horn anyway. The, you know, we always thought that those, maybe at that time those were the limits, but John definitely expanded that for sure. Do you hear any of the film composer John Williams in, in the Horn Concerto? Not as much in the horn part, but you do in the accompaniment. There are uh, very few spots, but you hear that kind of supportive role, and then the, the horn maybe expands here and there. And what makes it so? Well, what makes it so? Well, John, a uh, uh, couple of things. I think certainly John has been a, you know, a, a Hollywood composer for so long, or, and, and there are terrific horn players in, in L.A. that just really know how to, to navigate n uh, movie music, they'll, and, and they'll come in and in sight read some terrific stuff. And the same thing with London. London, uh, the symphonies were recorded all the Star Wars movies, and, and those guys have come in and absolutely read it the first time down. And I think thirdly is John Williams with his relationship with the Boston Pops. I just think John, over the years, discovered via these players in these, in these regions, and uh, he, he said, well, let's keep going and keep going. And he did, I think, and certainly in the movie music. You look at the movie uh, music of John Williams, and, and uh, it says it looks easy, but then when you start playing it, you realize how hard it is. And, and uh, so it really, at, at many levels, endurance, uh, sense of strength, and also building on it musically, too. And there are also, this concerto has a, a stop horn section where the horn player either uses a brass mute to, to stop the horn or uses their hand. In this case, there's not enough time to put a brass music mute in. So I use my hand, and there's an expanded stopped section, if you will, which is very unusual. You, know, you, you hear it in or orchestra pieces, but not necessarily in a horn concerto. There might be a couple of notes here and there, but John actually expanded on that. And you would think a concerto ends with, a, or most concertos tend to be open with a big, or close with a big bang, and, or a big finale, and John doesn't do that at all. He literally takes us to this wild journey to the point where he brings us all down to this absolute calm, or, you know, like looking away, and, and it's, it's it's great, and I, I really, and I, I think it's John for sure. Bill, it's yeah. great to talk great to you. Thank you, Jim. Good to see you.